Hello and welcome to Storytime. I am your Storytime reader, Miss Nikki. Did you know birds are the only animals with feathers? Other creatures may fly or lay eggs or even build nests just like birds. But they are not feathered. Birds are unique in that way. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers are not all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. And that's what we're going to learn about today when we read this non-fiction book titled Feathers, Not Just for Flying. Feathers, Not Just for Flying Written by Melissa Stewart and illustrated by Sarah S. Brannan. Birds and feathers go together like trees and leaves, like stars and the sky. All birds have feathers, but no other animals do. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers aren't all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up its feathers and trapping a layer of warm air next to its skin. Or cushion like a pillow. A female wood duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body. These feathers cushion the duck's eggs and keep them warm. Feathers can shade out sun like an umbrella. As a hungry, tricolored heron wades through the water in search of food, it raises its wings high over its head. The feathers block out reflections from the sky and shade the water. This makes it easier to spot tasty fish and frogs. Or protect skin like sunscreen. On sunny summer afternoons, Red-tailed hawks spend hours soaring through the sky in search of prey. Their thick feathers protect their delicate skin from the sun's harmful rays. Feathers can soak up water like a sponge. On sizzling summer days, a male sand grouse cools off by soaking his belly feathers in a watering hole. Then the proud papa flies to his nest. While dad guards his chicks, the little ones suck on his feathers to quench their thirst. Or clean up messes like a scrub brush. An American bittern always cleans up after it eats. Its feathers have brittle tips that crumble into a dusty powder. The powder is perfect for scoring away the dirt and slimy fish oil that sticks to its feathers. Feathers can distract attackers like a bullfighter's cape. A dark-eyed junco distracts its enemies by flushing the bright white feathers on the outside of its tail. Then it quickly covers the feathers and darts off in the other direction. Or hide a bird from predators like camouflage clothing. A female cardinal's dull grayish tan body and feathers blend in with her forest home. They help her hide and protect her nest from enemies while she sits on her eggs. Feathers can make high-pitched sounds like a whistle. When a male club wing mannequin wants to get a female's attention, he leans forward, raises his wings over his back and rapidly shakes them. As feathers with ridges rub against feathers with stiff curved tips, a squeaky chirping sound thrills through the air or attract attention like fancy jewelry. A peacock's bright, beautiful tail feathers make him easy to spot. At mating time, a female is attracted to the male with the biggest, most colorful fan of feathers. Feathers can dig holes like a backhoe. After bank swallows mate, they make a home together. First, the male uses his bill and the top feathers on his lower legs to dig a two-foot-long tunnel in a stream bank. He pushes the dirt out with his wings. Then the female builds a nest of straw, grasses 
and leaves at the end of the tunnel. Or carry building supplies like a forklift. Most birds carry nesting materials in their beaks, but not the female rosy-faced lovebird. When she finds grass, leaves or strips of bark, she tucks them under her rump feathers and flies back to her nest. Feathers can help birds float like a life jacket. Mute swans glide smoothly across the water's surface. Pockets of air trapped between their feathers help these graceful birds stay afloat. Or plunge downward like a fishing sinker. Most birds make a special oil to waterproof their feathers, but not the anhinger. The weight of its wet feathers help the hungry hunter dive deep down in search of fish, crayfish and shrimp. Feathers can glide like a sled. Emperor penguins have tightly packed belly feathers that form firm, slick surfaces. The feathers make it easy for these birds to slide across ice and snow. Or sprint across the snow like snowshoes. Each autumn, willow ptarmigans grow a thick layer of feathers on top of their toes, like snowshoes. The feathers increase the size of the bird's feet so they can shuffle across the snow instead of sinking in. But most of all, feathers can give birds the lift they need to race across the sky. Kinds of feathers. Many scientists study birds and they are learning new information every day. Right now, not all scientists agree about the best way to classify types of feathers. Here is one system that many scientists use. Tiny phyllo plume feathers attach to nerves. They help a bird sense its surroundings and they let the bird know that its feathers are in place. Stiff bristle feathers around a bird's eye act like eyelashes. Some birds use bristle feathers around their mouths to locate food. Soft, fluffy down feathers keep a bird warm by trapping body heat next to its skin. Semi-plume feathers work with down feathers to keep birds warm and dry. Contour feathers cover most of a bird's body. They give a bird its shape and colors. The flight feathers on a bird's wing lift it up and move it forward. Flight feathers on the tail help a bird steer and keep its balance. The end. I wish I had feathers too, so I could fly somewhere warm. I learned a lot about feathers today, and I hope you did too. Please join me soon for another Read Aloud. Until then, take care of yourself and each other, and stay curious.